My name is Lindsay Wolf, and I am the lead investigator for the DTEX i3 team. We are responsible for helping our customers with a variety of things, including investigations, which is something I'm going to walk you through today. One of the ways in which we do this is leveraging the DTEX open search uh, suite. And what we're doing here is going to be investigating a risky user. We start on the alerts page and we identify a risky user based on a variety of things. This could be a user risk score. This could be a, a variety of alerts that we've seen. This could also be behavior scores that we see reach a certain threshold. Once we find an activity that we're interested in, we can select the link to the raw data logs, which we're seeing here. And in this case, what we've identified is the user has been leveraging a personal chat GBT uh, chatbot. With those activities, we wanna be able to identify what is suspicious and what is not. So when what we're doing here is going to explore the different parts of the UI and try to identify exactly when the user was leveraging ChatGBT and if they were doing anything else suspicious around those times. One way we can do this is to pinpoint on a certain activity and actually visualize it. How we visualize these data points is by using our visualization tab, and we can build a variety of visualizations. In this case, we want to visualize it in a timeline form to kind of start putting a story together of what the user was doing. So in this case, we're gonna start by creating our histogram here, as you see, and we will then pinpoint different parts of the timeline for when the user was actually using ChatGBT. This shows us a spike in those activities, which is a great pivot point for us as an investigator to identify that these are when the suspicious activities occurred. We also want to get a larger time frame as well, especially if we notice that the user is leveraging other types of AI tools. So we can expand the timeline in a different type of uh, visualization here, which will give us more information around the other activities in addition to the ChatGPT uses that we've seen. With both of these visualizations, we can save them and be able to add them to a dashboard. The dashboard is really where we can visualize everything all together and really put a timeline and a story together for the user. So we not only get access to both the data table visualizations, but we also have the raw data logs. So we can look at everything from one pane of glass and be able to identify other risky activities that the user has done. In this case, we've also noticed a variety of other AI tools. Sometimes you might identify a certain web search or you might look at other process executions that might be interesting. You also might be able to look at the timeline from a whole and be able to identify if the user was leveraging ChatGBT for a certain project or if they were using it off hours. There's a variety of different ways that you can pivot from these investigations. But what the DTEX tool is doing is giving you all of the additional contextual data that you need to make a determination on whether that usage was sanctioned or not. In this case, we've also been able to identify that the user was using an unapproved uh, AI tool called Skyvern. In this case, this also becomes very suspicious because this is a tool that is not approved and something that's outside of the normal AI tool usage for the rest of the organization. So because we've been able to visualize all of the DTEX activities or the user's activities within the DTEX dashboard, we're then able to see that and be able to pivot on that as well to be able to say, hey, this user is doing risky things. Not only are they using a personal chat GBT, but they're also leveraging unapproved tools within the environment. So now that we've leveraged a DTEX investigations dashboard to identify the usage of shadow AI, we also have the ability to explore other types of areas for investigations, including using our AI3 risk assistant. This is an amazing feature that really enables analysts to drill down into the data without actually having to threat hunt, meaning pivot around the different dashboards, create their own visualizations. What the AI3 Risk Assistant does is empower you to investigate anything that you'd like, including a DLP investigation or a risky user. The AI3 Risk Assistant has these built-in playbooks that you're able to select and you'd be able to drill down into the user's activities, again, without having to create or save your own visualizations or dashboards. This feature will provide you with a complete history of the user's activities, including any websites they've accessed, including in this case, uh, personal webmail, or any activities around files that they've accessed, including those files that they may have attached to their personal webmail accounts. 
It will also provide you with a complete storyline or a complete report around the investigation that you're conducting. So you have all of the data right here in this one space without having to pivot and again, create your own dashboards or visualizations. This becomes really helpful for those analysts that are new to this space, as well as analysts that may not have as much investigative uh, experience. So A3 Risk Assistant really helps develop an analyst's uh, abilities, as well as provide you with all of the details and tangible documentation that you can show your teams. We've just seen some on-demand agentic workflows. DTEX is also working to fully automate those workflows. We've identified a few key investigation steps that we see in every organization. For example, when an individual hands in their resignation, we know that the investigation steps are consistent every single time. So why not use the LLM to help you run that investigation automatically, but have that be driven by your HR solution? So for example, um, when that gets escalated to Workday or SAP success factors, you can use a DTEX MCP server to automatically run that investigation for you. There's a whole range of automations that are made possible through DTEX's up and coming MCP server, where the user interface may not be necessary if you're doing an automatic workflow that you know already exists. It's an extremely exciting time for automation and the ways that you can start to consume DTEX and our behavioral intelligence.